We're now checking out some crossbred females. And Dad has caught here the white belted gill. This is 71 9. She is an American classic back on Horton. A really cool breeding for an extremely cool gill. Guys, I love her from the side profile. She's extremely naturally upheaded. Look how long and extended she is up through that neck and jawline. You get on top of her, she's jet level, extremely good in terms of muscle shape, really square made out through that hip and hind leg. She sets those feet down extremely well. Really good in terms of center body dimension as well. Big old rib cage laid in her. And she's marked extremely cool as you see on this one side. She kind of has those dots to help her stand out. I think this is one really good gilt that's going to be a lot of fun to feed. Again, that is the 71-9 gilt. Dad has here, this is 69-10. She is a next-gen back on life sentence. Her mom's one of those Andy Rash styles that we purchased when he... Um, liquidated his herd and there's a whole slew of these sisters in the sale and guys this one is extremely neat in her makeup as you study this gal she's stout skull big old top laid in her extremely good in terms of muscle shape she's deep sided she's big ribbed really correct in terms of how that hip shape is good in terms of bone work she's also extremely hairy um, in that in her hair condition as we talk about that in the show ring these days one I like an awful lot. I think she's going to be a big time guilt. And again, that is the 69-10 guilt. Coming over here, we got the other kind of cool uh, marked up guilt. This is 69-8. So 69-8. Her sister, again, these are next gen back on life sentence. And she is kind of the, the combination guilt of this litter, you know. Extremely extended up through that front end. We'll see if dad can get her going. There she goes. Extremely extended. Really cool from the side. Really good in terms of that depth of body, center rib. A lot of natural shape through that center portion of her body. You get on top of her, she's extremely square. Made over that loin and out through her hip. She sets those feet down extremely well. You guys, you know, she's one that she just looks like a female. How she's designed and put together. One that's going to be a whole lot of fun um, when you get her out and show. She's also marked extremely cool in my opinion. Coming up next, this is 68-5. She is a cobalt matchmaker. And guys, if you're looking for that power house power packed crossbred gill look in on her guys look at that natural top sink she has a huge top a big old groove already laid down that top extremely square and wide from the ground up big old hip laid in her as well really good in terms of center body dimension she's up headed extremely extended up through that front end you guys this is one depending upon how you feed her she can either be a breeding gill or a market gill um, she has those capabilities but guys this is one power packed crossbred gill